Christian talk with a Caribbean twist. Iron sharpens iron, with Linda Casimir and friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Iron Short Sharpens Iron. This is Linda Casimir and friends. Tonight, first and foremost, we want to welcome back one of our panelists who was on a wonderful one month long vacation. Welcome back, Miss Bev. We missed you. Thank you. <laughs> so tonight, Miss Bev is going to open us up with prayer. And then from there, we are going to discuss being that this is a new year. We're not going to do the proverbial new year resolutions. What we are going to talk about is where we would like to see God take each one of us, what path we would like God to take us down spiritually for this season of 2022 in our, in our growth and in our maturity, our walk with the Lord. So whenever you are ready, Ms. Bev, go ahead and open up with prayer. Heavenly, most righteous Father God, Lord, we come before you tonight, Lord, with a thankful and grateful heart that you saw it fit there, Lord, to give us another chance in this world today, Father God. Amongst the trials and tribulations that we are encountering, Lord God, your grace and your mercies, O oh God, abounded in our lives individually and corporately on today. Lord, and we thank you for this opportunity that you have called this reset what you call it? What's the name? Iron sharpens iron. Iron sharpen iron together, together, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that your Holy Spirit would speak through each of us individually, Lord God, and that you would be glorified in all that we do and all that we say. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You see, it was gone too long. You forgot the name of your ministry. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Talking about what's the name of it again? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Anyway, That's okay. Um, okay. I'll start off by saying one of the things I've been praying since January 1st is for me to get closer to the Lord and to become more sensitive to his presence. And I also been praying that God would enhance my spiritual vision so I can see in the spirit the things he wants me to see and also for him to enhance my spiritual hearing so I can hear clearly what thus saith the Lord and to, to make me sensitive to others, even the ones who hurt me in action or, in, or by words to be more sensitive and to be more forgiven, you know, and um, just to make me, just to take me to that place in him where he's pleased with me as his daughter. Mm -hmm. And that's my desire for 2022. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are some hard things to, those mm -hmm. are some hard things to ask for because yeah. you know what is required. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you know what is diligence. Is, yeah, girl. You see that's Due diligence. That that's where the maturity the, the maturity to uh, even ask that. Mm -hmm. Shows. You know, because some of those things that there's high price. Some of those requests yes, high price. And not everybody wants to pay that price. You know, hey, whatever, whatever, whatever the Lord's will for my life is, I'm, um, um, I'm, you know, I'm in a place of accepting what mm -hmm. His will is for my life because I've come to realize that it's not about me; yeah. it's all about Him. And yeah. if He bring me to it, He gonna see me through it. Amen. Amen. I trust, I trust Him with my life because my life is not my own. That's right. My life and times are in His hands. You know, I'm His. You know, so he has the right and he will, whether I opt to freely allow him or not to do whatever he want to do out of me. So to make it easier on myself, may as well I yield to the spirit 
mm-hmm. and let him have his way. Mm-hmm. I like that. If he brought me to it, he'll see me through it. That's a good one. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Oh, that's an old yeah. one. <laughs> that, oh, yeah, that's been around. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, that's been around a minute. <laughs> that's been around a minute. But it's very true, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's very true. Yeah, you know I mean? You know, they used to, the, the, the song, um, this is, a, um, dude, this song is going to date me where you say, um, <clears throat> he didn't, he didn't teach me to swim, to watch me drown. Mm-hmm. He didn't, he didn't lift me up to let me down. And I never heard that one. Oh yeah. That's an old song. I forgot who sang mm-hmm. it, but it's, it's so true. He don't teach you to swim, to watch you drown, you know? Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go next. For me, with everything that's been happening, all, all the things that have been happening in 2021 and has already um, started happening for 2022, all the doors he's been opening for me, my request for him is to always be on alert to not miss him. You know the scripture that talks about how, um, and I'm paraphrasing it, it uh, one of the kids might be able to find it for me, where he talks about they missed the day of visit of his visitation. The children of Israel missed, his, missed the day of his visitation. For 2022, I don't, I don't wanna miss him. I don't wanna miss no move of his, you know? Because I'm I'm distracted with something, you know. I'm too busy looking this way when he's moving this way, you know. So at this this year, I want my focus to be pain point on him. No matter what's going on around me, I don't want to take my eye off of him and what he's doing, where he's moving, you know. I want to be like the children of Israel in the wilderness. When that cloud moved, or that pillar of fire moved, they instantly packed it up and they moved with it. I want to be like that for 2022. To be ready to be instant to move. Whatever the move is, however the move look, to be ready at a moment's notice. Okay, I found the scripture. Okay, what is it? Luke 19, 40 to 44. You want to read it? Hang on. Okay, I'll just read 44. It says, and they, and they laid thee even with the ground and thy children within thee, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another because thou knowest not the time of thy visitation. Mm-hmm. Yep. They didn't know the time of their visitation. I don't want, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to miss God in whatever form he choose to use when he moves. I don't want to have no preconceived idea in my mind this is how he going to move and then miss it. You know what I mean? I, I think that ties into what I was saying about being sensitive to his spirit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Having spiritual eyes to see yeah. in the spirit realm, the things he wants you to see and being able to hear what he's saying. Mm-hmm. Because if you have those three, you wouldn't miss his visitation. Mm-hmm. You'll see what he's showing you. You'll hear what he's showing you. And you would sense his spirit mm-hmm. when he shows up. Yep. Yep. And not get sidetracked mm-hmm. at all. You know, because the enemy, he famous for that. He famous for, for waving the carrot in front of your face so that your, your gaze turns away. And he does it exactly when he knows or he feels that God is about to move because he got, he got his, he got his fallen angels of, of their battling mm-hmm. against the angels of God. Mm-hmm. 
that's coming with your instructions, that's coming with your answers. So he have them hindering the angels. So he know ahead of time they, 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 they're on their way. So while he hindering them, he putting a carrot in front of your face to turn your gaze away. You know, mm -hmm. you know the story, with, um, the the um, passage with Daniel when he was fasting for twenty one days. Mm -hmm. You notice Daniel kept his focus for that twenty one days, right? And because he kept his focus, when the angel came, Daniel didn't miss it. Daniel didn't miss it. The angel came right to Daniel. Daniel was right there because his fo he was focused for the 21 days. So that's how I want to be this year. Totally focused. You know. Yeah. For this year. So I don't miss nothing. Because okay. I believe with so much going on in the world today that God is doing even more. You know, and it, it all it takes to miss it is a twinkle. Yep. <laughs> in a split second. Yep. <coughs> you know, in a blink of an eye, you can miss it. Mm-hmm. Yep. You do not want to miss it. I do not want to miss anything of what he's doing. That's my, that's my... That's my thing for this year. With the Lord. Especially the things that he wants you as a per as his daughter to partake in. Mm -hmm. Because even though he's doing something, sometimes he uses different people. Each person plays a part. And if you miss your part, you move on to the next person. You know, you want to, to, to fulfill the part that he has for you. Correct. Right. Correct. So that the whole thing could flow Come together. Yeah. It can flow, yeah. The way that he wants it to flow. I mean the others he like he, he gonna connect with the rest of them because he's not gonna hold up he's not gonna hold the show up because you lolly gagging. Nah. Mm -mm. You no. Know? He'd be like, Okay, I came, you missed it. Next. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next uh, he go down the line. Right. So he find the person that's gonna connect. Right. With him. Right. Train my hands for war. Reclaiming your purpose and territory in God. Alabaster Box, The Unveiling. Experiencing the supernatural realms of God. Where Angels Tread. The Unseen Realms of God. Available on all online book outlets. Linda Casimir. Alabaster Box Ministries. I know there's a scripture where he talks about his, his eye ran <coughs> to and fro throughout the earth looking for someone who <laughs> was attentive, who were paying attention. Mm -hmm. Just like the devil is a raging lion roaming the earth looking for who mm -hmm. he could devour, mm -hmm. God is doing the same thing looking he doing for the who same. he could use. Yeah, <laughs> the, devil only, the devil only mimics what he see God do, you know. Mm -hmm. He don't have an original thought in his head. No. <laughs> He really don't. Oh. He's a copycat. <laughs> He's big time. He's an ultimate copycat. He ain't got an original thought in his head. He ain't as smart as people think he is. Mm -mm. He seems wise because he mimics God's wisdom. Yeah, because he was in heaven with God. So he, he right. already he already seen the blueprint. <laughs> you know? Oh, what you he know? think is the full blueprint. All exactly. he when actually he only see the one, the one corner of the blueprint that he thinks that's the whole blueprint. Mm -hmm. You know, he saw the intro page. He didn't even see the full the full project. <laughs> exactly. He saw the intro. <laughs> he saw the he saw the cover and he thought he had it. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Anybody? Anybody else? What y'all um want to see God accomplish for you? This year, 2022. Um, I say I want. And I don't know if this falls along the same line, but I want people to see what I want people to see God through me. I don't know if that's an accomplishment, but I just want people to see God through me. See, 
who I am, how I act, how I treat people, how I operate and see God through all of that. Correct. That's an awesome goal. Yeah. You want to be a beacon of light. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's supposed to be light and so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, I think what you, and in other words, what you're trying to say is you want when people look at you, they don't see the image of Lionel. They see the Christ in Lionel. you. You see the Christ. Mm -hmm. The true and living God. Amen. Words that come out from mouth too. What did you say, Anne? This is the words that come out of your mouth. Always, yeah, re always representing God. Because mm -hmm. that's my that's my, that's what I want this year, Lord. You brought me through so much. And now I know um I'm a beacon because people come to me and just start talking to me. And I always try to bring him first. You know, and um you put it to his put it to put it to God and you pray to him. Believe that mustard seed that you put down, that God is gonna stand firm on it, fertilize it, and make it grow. Mm -hmm. But you have to do your part, you have to have that faith that he is going to do that for you. No ifs, ands, but you planted it, you believe on it, you let it grow. And then you'll see what happened after that. I have learned that the hard way. And I've, I, I've, I'm, my life is happier now. And I want God to use me as a beacon, like Lionel says. Um, that people will be able to come to you. Come, that just come to you and just start talking at random because it has happened. And I try to find the words what God wants me to use. I never try to put myself in it. It is for him, for his glory, his glorification, not mine. So learning the words and knowing what to say at the time of that situation is, is, my, is um, a gift I want from him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Simple easy for them to understand and walk with it to see you know, it makes sense and then you just talk to them like as you're going back to your car or going back to whatever your situation is it's that easy to talk to the father yeah that's it so go ahead on sorry yeah, that's one of the things I, I I wanted because God has brought me so brought me through. So now, as Lionel said, he wants to be a beacon and learning learning the Bible and and um trying to use your words and thoughts that will glorify God, not you, mm -hmm. to um tell them uh, be able to let them know that you know once you. Speak to God. Speak to God like how you would talk to your mom or talk to someone. Go in your own, go in your own space and say, Lord, I, I don't know what to do here. Can you help me? Can you tell me? Can I, uh, uh, you put it in, you, you, you go ahead and like a mustard seed and let it water it, let it grow. And I say, God, I trust you to answer this. I trust you. But you have to have the faith to let it to to know that God is God and nothing is not difficult for him. He is able to answer you. But you have to have that trust and the strength to believe that he will answer. Man. Hello? Yeah, we listening to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, we listening to you. Yeah, so that's one of my um honors I want to do for him, for God, mm -hmm. and get me better at it, you know, um, that's, that's just it, because he's helped me so much, and he brought me through my tears, my doubts, 
you know, my emotions. And mm-hmm. I believe he can do it for someone else. Amen. By using me. Amen. Yeah. And do you, do you feel like you're ready to be used no matter what? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Definitely, yes. Okay. But I have to learn to, to articulate my words and bring out what I mean and help them to understand what I mean. Because sometimes you look at me crazy, but when I switch it in a different way, they understand what I'm saying, you know? So I will be doing a lot of reading and be within my room doing what I got to do to know him even better. Right. Right. Study and show yourself approved. Right. Work out rightly dividing the world of truth. Mm-hmm. Yep. You 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 owe you owe it to him to learn. Yeah. yeah. We we all owe it to him to learn. Mm-hmm. You know. We can't be we can't be a, a ignorant servant. You, you know, no army sends ignorant soldiers out to the battlefield. Right. And not ignorant as in a negative, ignorant as in they just don't know. Mm-hmm. They make sure they, their soldiers are fully trained, fully familiar with everything. Yes. You know, so we as well, as soldiers of the cross, mm-hmm. have to be fully familiar with the weapons of our warfare, which right. are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Exactly. You know, so we have to be familiar with what it is we have to deal with and who it is we're dealing with, you know. Mm -hmm. We do have to study and show ourselves approved. Do whatever it takes to get the the job done, period. Correct. Correct. Period. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anybody else wants to, to talk about what they... You know, for me, um, for 2022, I just want to have a closer walk on my journey with God because since I've given my life to God again, it's like I could tell that I'm on the right path because there's things that's coming harder at me. So for 2022, I want to keep on this journey and I just want to get closer to God that I could understand the gifts that he gave me so that I could start spreading those gifts out to bring people, bring my brothers and sisters home to God. Yeah. So that's my focus is just keep walking with him, keep praying, keep reading my Bible. I find myself reading the Bible more. At first, I was not even a reader, y'all. I was starting off the Bible with audio. And I was like, eh, it's helping, but it's not getting me there. So I started reading the Bible. Mm. So now I'm understanding more. Mm-hmm. So I'm talking more with him. And it's just things are getting more clo- clearer for me. So that's why I want for 2023 for me to just get closer to God, walk with him so I, I could know what my gifts is, so I could start using it, so I could bring my brothers and sisters home. That's, that's what my focus is for 2022. That's awesome. Really is. Yeah, you're right, Therese. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Because you can't fight if you don't. It makes no sense to have weapons and, and don't know how to use them. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. can be fully armed, dangerously armed, and don't know how to use one of your weapons. You as vulnerable as if you were not dead naked. Mm-hmm. Because if you have all these weapons, but you're ignorant on how to use them, you're still going to get killed. You're still going to get killed. Mm-hmm. Reset. Women's Retreat. Reset and set free. Hosted by 
Linda Casimir. Oh, and winning souls is always the goal. Huh? So winning souls is always the goal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. It's not about getting your name in light. It's not about getting all the money you could hoard in this Correct. life. It's not about getting titles to, to your name in church and being the right. head right. washer in, in your church. And It's not about none of that. It's about souls. Mm-hmm. It's about souls. For real, for real. And when he Ooh. see that it's about soul for you, for real, he gives you souls. Yeah. He gives you souls. He really gives you souls. When he see you serious about souls, he gives you souls. Mm-hmm. And he gives it to you in ways that you would not think he would give it to you. Mm-hmm. That's why mm-hmm. this year, I go in into this with no preconceived idea yes. of how he yes. will move. But when you go in with preconceived, you mm-hmm. hinder God yes. and you hinder yourself. Yes. Yep. Because you're expecting him to move your way. A certain way. <laughs> yeah. And then when he moved different, mm-hmm. you miss it because yes. that's not the way you think he's he going to move. You know, it's one, one of the ways I often pray is ask God not to allow me to become comfortable and complacent where Correct. I'm at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. that's not a good place to be. It's not. <laughs> that's not a good place to be. You want to live on edge, you know, expecting the unexpected. You know, you don't know how he's going to move. All you know is that He's going to do it. You don't know when, you don't know how. But you walk in by faith, believing, you know, that he's going to do it. Because right. he will do it. You know, you live edgy like, is it today? You know, not really. That wasn't a good example. Like, you live with expectations. Mm-hmm. That's better. That's a better way to explain what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. Live your life with expectation, expecting, because, you know, the Bible says expectancy is a breathing ground for a miracle. Mm-hmm. So if you're expecting God to do something today, keep on expecting him. Even if you don't do it today, tomorrow is another day. That's and right. And he specializes in suddenlies, in that midnight hour. Oh, he man. Things around. <laughs> he gave you that suddenly. You know, Man, yes, you know, just like he said, you know, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes it's in the morning. morning. You know, yeah. you go to sleep one way, you wake up totally transformed, yeah. girl. From the pit <laughs> to the palace, it's okay. <laughs> you go to sleep one way, you know, like when I wake up in the morning, I, I, I always say to the Lord, Thank you for restoring my bodily function because you know how you're going to sleep. You don't know how you're going to wake up in the morning. Mm-hmm. You may go to sleep tonight being able to urinate on your own, but then you wake up in the morning and you can't. Oh. Oh. You know, there's so much. You like, I, I, I basically go through like a anatomy list of things that I thank the Lord for every day mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. I don't take it lightly because my ability to see, to hear, to feel, to laugh, to smile, to touch, to talk. I have mobility in my limbs. I got 10 fingers, 10 toes, two arms, two legs. Those are blessings. Correct. Yes. You know, you go to sleep with those things, with your cognitive, what's it, your cognitive skills intact, yes. and then you wake up in the morning and you can't do one or the other. You know, so I, I, I make it a point every day to thank him, mm-hmm. you know, because you, it's the little things I believe when we take the time to appreciate God for what he has done. I think that blesses him more than when he blesses us with a house or a car. Okay. <laughs> and you be like, oh, God, thank you, thank you, thank you. But when you could take the time out to thank him for these, what 
you know, people may call them trivial. To me, they're not trivial. Right. Because you 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 go to sleep at night with your vision and wake up in the morning and you can't see. That's mm -hmm. major. That's major. I know that's, <laughs> that's right. major. That yeah. is not trivial at all. So, you know, th these are just little nuggets that I that I do on a day to day basis. Mm -hmm. yeah. For me, it's like blessings. There's blessings in your life that people that take for granted. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know what I mean? It's 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 a blessing that mm -hmm. you could get up, you could eat. Some people can't even eat. Yeah, you know what I mean. Some people mm -hmm. can't even take a shower. You know, right. it's a blessing that you thank you, Lord, for every little it's, thing. That some every little thing is in life. Shower, be grateful but they don't for. have a place to take a shower. Mm -hmm. It's so much we take for granted. It's true. So much, so much we take for granted. But you know that saying: you never know what you have until you lose it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You yeah. know, you never know what you have until you lose it. So much yeah. we take for granted. We look at God like he's a microwavable God. God, right. I want. And you expect him to zap it to you. No, it don't work that way. You know, certain things you do it that way. But for the most part, you got to trust the process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you, you, you got to trust the process and wait on him until he see it fit. Because sometimes we ask for something and it may be a good thing, but we're not prepared to receive it. And Correct. if he gave it to us when we ask for it, it would destroy us. Or we would, use, or we would use it inappropriately. Yeah, so that's, that's why you know, sometimes the waiting process is the preparation process. He's preparing mm -hmm. you to receive, you know, what you're asking for. Mm -hmm. So you just gotta wait. You just gotta wait patience. on him. Humble and patience, and thank him mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank him in advance. When you make your thank request you. known to him, you start. You begin thanking him in advance. You don't know when he's going to do it, but by faith, you believe that he's going to do it because he's not a god that he should lie. Mm -hmm. Right. You right. know. So you just gotta thank him in advance, Lord. I don't know when. I don't know how, but I, I'm thanking you. In advance for X, Y, or Z, whatever it may be. Amen. God knows. Yeah, I know. Yes. Seriously, so, Francine, what you all, what you all have to say for this year? You want to go first, Ronnie? What did you say? You want to go first? Sure. Um, for me, I, I I want to see more of the fruits of the spirit exhibited in me. Um, I mean, I see fruits of the spirit, but well, I see you know pieces of the fruit of the spirit in my life, but there are a lot of places where I know I'm showing, I have, I have some, I have some weeds, I should say, um, where I see the occasional impatience. So I see the occasional, um, the occasional bitterness or the occasional uh, lack of self-control. So, um, praying and asking God to help me with that, help me to, to heal me from any hurts from the past and help me to forgive and to release that bitterness and to just be able to enjoy the life that he's given me, enjoy the blessings that I have and not focus on, you know, what was taken from me before, um, in the past and also um, to show self-control as far as uh, if I tell myself I'm going to do something to actually do it and if I say you know what I need to lose 10 pounds then to actually do it and just get it done or if I say you know I'm going to start working out regularly to actually start working out regularly to just be a woman of my word to myself Right. Because if I give somebody else a promise, I keep it. But I tell myself I'm going to do things for me 
so often and I don't follow through with it. Amen. So, Amen. All of us. All of us. Yep. All of us. Not Welcome all to of the us. club. All of us. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. But you know, the truth of okay. the matter is, if you can't commit to yourself, how are you going to commit to others? Thank you. That's, that's, right. where your, that's where your commitment starts, self. Yep. That's so true. And we, we don't even correlate it that way because it's about, it's us, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, I could, I, I could, I could break my own promises to me. Then, mm -hmm. how can anybody trust you to keep your promises to them? Mm -hmm. And you know, another era where parents do that with their children. Mm -hmm. They give their child or children everything, and they go lacking. It mm -hmm. shouldn't be that way. Mm -hmm. It should not be that way. It should be equal. Whatever you have, you make sure all needs are met. Right. Including and, your own. Right. Like we said. All needs are Yeah. Yeah. Put on your yeah. mask first. <laughs> yeah. We tend to. Why you think when you're on the airplane, when they do their little demonstration. Right. Put on your mask. mask. Yes. Put on your mask first. Yep. Before you even put on your child or the person, you help the person next to you. Right. You protect yourself first. Right. Then others. Yeah, because if you lack in oxygen. How are you going to help somebody? Oh. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And we do that for years, especially mothers. Oh, yeah. We notorious. Especially women, yeah. period. <laughs> Whether oh, you're a mom mm -hmm. or not, women, period. I'll go without as long as my kids have. I'll go without. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds good, but it's not practical. But it, yeah, it's not <laughs> biblical either. Alabaster Box, The Unveiling. Experiencing the supernatural realms of God. Train my hands for war. Reclaiming your territory and purpose in God. Soul Food Devotionals Nourishment for the Heart Where Angels Tread The Unseen Realms of God Available wherever books are sold Alabaster Box Ministries Linda Casimir No, it's not. It's not biblical either. You got to, you got to love you. You got to love you. This mm -hmm. year, as 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 women, let's promise ourselves we're gonna love us. Oh yeah. yeah. We have to learn because Jesus told us to love others as we love ourselves. Mm -hmm. How can we love? Mm -hmm. How can I love others if I don't know how to even love myself? Right. There you go. Right. And this is a theme that he keeps bringing up. You all notice it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He keeps bringing it up because he know this show going around the wall. So there's people that need to keep hearing it. Hearing it. And like Beva always say, practice makes... Permanent. 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 <laughs> so he got to keep reiterating it and reiterating it because this thing going to the four corners of the earth, you know, and there's women in every corner that have not even translated that to this truth, you know, that needs to hear it and needs to keep hearing it, you know. So as the spirit keeps bringing this subject back up, we're going to keep reiterating it, you know, so that everyone can hear it and everyone can grab hold of it. And realize, okay, I have 
to put myself on the front burner so I can get done the things I need to get done. You know, so I can accomplish the things I need to accomplish for Christ. If I stay on the back burner, how, how, how am I any use to him? If I'm always on the back burner, you know, mm -hmm. if the back burner is your ministry, that's one thing. But if you're on the back burner because you put yourself back there and you got a yeah. mentality of, oh, oh, well, you know, I'll worry about me later. I'll worry about when does later ever come? Listen, oh, tomorrow God. never comes, right? Mm -hmm. Later you gotta never have comes. A you got to uh -huh. have a balance. I say you have to have a balance. You sure do. In everything. Even in your ministry. Yes. In your personal life. In your marriage. Everything. You got to have, have, have that balance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm anything ready. anything out of balance is detrimental. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I always put other things first before me, and now I'm starting to resent it that I'm I'm here now. It's just me. You know, I gotta learn to love me so I won't so I won't slip into to resentment. Mm -hmm. Do things for me, take a trip. And, my favorite thing is I like the beach. I'll go up there to Davy or uh, uh, what you call that deep thing that begins with a D. I heard they have white sands. I will sit out there, you know, do things for me, take time for me. Tell me you can't go without Louise. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Destin, yeah. I always wanted to check out Destin. You know, oh, yeah. go off, go off Friday and. Spend a weekend over there and come back and do something different, something for me. Love me. Mm -hmm. My bad spot, girl. I'm ready to go. Oh. <laughs> you ready know? to go. Let's do it. Yeah. Tell my Louise. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell my Louise. I let's said, go. tell my Louise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I like to drive. So, um, yeah. I'll, 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 drive I'll, up I'll, north. Come up to Boston. I ain't going that far. And then snow too. No, thank you. <laughs> okay. That got to be crazy. <laughs> I ain't want to think she's crazy, but I ain't going up there and not snow. Like you. you lost me at snow. Okay. <laughs> we, got, we, we got 10 inches yesterday. Oh. Girl, you're not going to The first like snowstorm for the season. Where's, where's, you said Boston? Yeah, we got 10. Well, some places got up to a foot. But where my area, we got ten. Oh wow! Ten, ten inches of snow. Oh, you could keep it. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I want to share. No, thank no, you. No, no, thank you. Uh, um. we, we know sharing is caring, but that's okay. We good. No. Mm -mm. I, I, no, 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 no. We'll take Florida with it. When we, the closest thing to snow is the pollen flying around. That's Thank right. <laughs> That's it. Man, when I was in Texas, the temperatures was like 79, 81, 82. Okay, so what about you, Sirius? Um, for me, I don't know. I I just feel like I feel like my next level in God is attached to my husband in a way. Mm -hmm. Um so I, I've been praying for God to join me with my husband. My I don't want to say kingdom husband. I feel that's so cliche, but my godly husband, the one that he um, intend for me. Um, but like on a personal note, I feel like, um, I hope I ain't doing TMI here, but <laughs> I feel like um, ever since I came up on this assignment, um, I know it's like the Lord taking me out of my comfort zone. So I was like, you know, been like wondering, like, okay, Lord, what you doing with me? Like, what what is this season about? You know, and it's like He's showing me what this season is about, and He showed me things within myself that I never, I knew was there, but didn't realize what it was. Um, and He actually used my roommate to actually point it out to me, and I was like, wow, because she, she was able to like describe exactly what I've always felt but couldn't put into words mm -hmm. and couldn't 
I couldn't realize that and I didn't realize I was that normal and I, I knew it wasn't really healthy but I, I at the same time I knew it wasn't normal but never really saw it as so unhealthy as it really is it and became, I think it became your huh? normal it was yes my norm so it's like and I realized it's a lot of it is because of stuff that I experienced growing up and I felt like I didn't have control of things as a child so it's like I found ways to to gain that control and that that feeling of needing to be in control of my environment or, and of of everything around and about me it carried mm -hmm. into adulthood and it I knew I knew it wasn't like super healthy but at the same time it was something that protecting me you know what i mean mm -hmm. so like i noticed like anything that i want to do it has to have some kind of um order to it or or I'll, i won't be comfortable it has to go a certain way the way i have it planned in my head or i'm not gonna be good with it or i have to be within this little square if i'm not if i'm outside of this square then you know i'm not gonna be cool with it i'm gonna stay in the square and that's all i want to do and now I realize that a lot of that comes from me needing that sense of control and building that um, that little parameter to protect myself mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But it's like the Lord basically just kind of showed me what what's in there, what's, what's within me as far as um, the control thing and needing to let go of that and step outside of my comfort zone. Because it's like this whole traveling thing is way outside my comfort zone i like being within my 20 miles of my house yeah, yeah. <laughs> nothing more <laughs> yeah that was you for real you know i'm, I'm when i'm when I'm, I'm either at work which is like 20 miles away or i'm home and it's like that's my little protective area and that's where i'm sticking to you know so but I feel like the Lord trying to get me out of comfort zones and stretch me a little more and show me that there's more to life than these boxes that I have have built and living in. And anytime I, I have stepped outside my boxes that I built for myself, I always feel like there's a sense of like loss of control and I get antsy and anxious and just feel like something is awry and just not right, and, you know. And not really living and enjoying life. So now I'm in a season where it's like, Lord, taking me outside of these comfort zones and telling, showing me like, it's okay to not always be in control. Let me be in control. Like, you know, let God be in control, you know? Mm -hmm. So, but it's, it's just that I feel like I'm just learning new things in this season. And for 2022, I just, I want to focus in on God and him show, showing me things in me that I need to release and um, to be able to meet my kingdom. So, so who's, who's to say my kingdom spouse will, I'll, I'll meet my kingdom spouse outside of my comfort zone. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I just want to like focus in on God and just hearing what he's saying and letting him show me things within me that he wants to, to get out and what he wants to put in and just be what God wants me to be. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Allow him to heal you break down those walls a lot of times we we build up we build up walls as protection and before you know it you think you're safe inside these walls and years later you realize you literally built your own prison correct right, right. And god is showing you like these walls have to come down he is your protection you, you don't have to put yourself in prison to be safe Right. Y'all keep talking. I got to check on my camera. Okay. 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 That's awesome, C. Yeah. It really is. Oh, I'm not serious. Serious. They got to let go and let God so you can see the, so you can get to know the real you. You yeah. have so much. Oh, woman, you got so much in you. Mm -hmm. Let go. Let God. Mm -hmm. And the crazy mm -hmm. part is I never saw it. Like, I always thought, like, 
I, I'm quick to say, oh, I trust God, I trust God. But at the same time, it's like you trust God, but yet you're building up these little, basically you're putting... Um, you're putting barricades. Yeah, barricades and like you're putting up... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You're putting up these like um, pr- protective barriers. Mm-hmm. And barriers. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. You put up all these protective barriers, and like, I trust God, I trust God, but yet you feel the need to put up protective barriers. It's like you trust God or not, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then you I trust didn't God to keep it. you inside that barrier, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I trust God in this barrier, <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I, I didn't even realize it. And it's like He's showing me, like, let me show you what you're what you're really doing. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, my God is good. Yes, he is. That is good. I know he got great things for each and every one of us, and all of us have to step outside comfort zones uh-huh. yeah. to receive what it is he have for yeah. us. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, so yeah. We put, we put limits on God when we stay inside these little um, safe zones that we build for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Put limits on God. That is good. I'm excited to see what he's going to do. You're going to be so surprised. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> You're going to be so I'm... surprised. You're going to be like, wow, I had this in me all the time. God's going to say, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I you got too, that Monica. Too. Huh? I said, you too. <laughs> <laughs> he going to blow your spot up. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Amen. And just being able to get out there and and live, just yeah. being able to to pick up and go four hundred miles away or fifty miles away, or go and see things that you know that are not close to home, that are not close to where you're accustomed to being, and just the experiences yeah. is is amazing. Look, look what he did for me. I never lived by myself in sixty four mm-hmm. years, in sixty three years. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. I'm living by myself and loving it. Mm-hmm. Never in my own strength. You kidding me? No way. <laughs> no way. I would never have done this. I mm-hmm. remember when you were getting your new place and about to move. You were scared. Huh? I said, I remember when you were getting your new place and about to move. You were scared. I was, I was, but he took that fear away from me. My first night being here, whew, that was a test. <laughs> the second night was more or less the same, but from the third night up until now, it's been smooth sailing. He took that fear away from me. Mm-hmm. I used to be like, how can I even take a shower? With the shower curtain pulled. <laughs> the crazy things that used to go through my mind. Now, two, three o'clock in the morning, I'm taking a shower. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I tell you, there's no limit to what God would do. Mm-hmm. He would take your mess and turn it into a, a message. That's true. That's his word is true. What he says, he takes every good and he turns it for the good of those mm-hmm. who love him. Yeah, because God ain't give us a script of at, fear. That's, yeah. uh, that's, that, that's the devil right there. He gave us you a script of power and love think. and a sound mind. Mm-hmm. How in the world, how can you possibly use this for good? But at the end of it, you look back and you see, you know what? This What, what happened wasn't good, but God, the things that I learned in that, oh, priceless. Yeah. The mm-hmm. things that you showed me and what I learned about you, Priceless. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. Because I know he for a fact, a father. I am not the same Beth Lucas that I was a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Spiritually, no. Mm-mm. Because uh, the things I've been through, if someone had wrote it out as a script, and tell me, read it and tell me if you could do it. I've been like, oh, no, you crazy. I can't do that. But I did. Mm-hmm. Not in my own strength. But with God, 
He brought me to it and he brought me through it. Amen. Still bringing me through. I, I, I haven't crossed over yet, but I'm better than I was. Oh. Mm -hmm. Soul Food. A daily devotional available wherever books are sold. Iron Sharpens Iron. A Caribbean twist to talk shows. Reset. Women's Retreat. A time to relax and connect with God. Alabaster Box Ministries. Linda Casimir. We're going to go ahead and close off the show, the show on that note um, series. Very thought provoking note. Oh, in fact, we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make the, the promise if the Lord don't return that we will continue next week on that same vein, but we're going to put a little twist to it. We're going to talk about, uh, as far as 2020 and 2021, what have the Lord shown you personally things concerning your character, your personality that was a hindrance to you and how he went about, um, either bringing you through it, And bringing you to a point where you were able to go past into newer things, better things. So that's going to be part two next week. So stay tuned, viewers, for next week when we come back together. We want to thank you all for joining us one more time for another episode of Iron. Iron, sharp, sharp, sharp iron. 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 Yes, yes, yes. We all enjoy that you that you join us. We really appreciate, you know, that you take the time, um, whatever day of the week or what hour of the day that you look at our show. We want to let you know that we truly do love you and we pray for you and your families and the situation that's going on globally. And we ask that you continue to seek the Lord for understanding, for wisdom, and to be able to walk this thing out with Jesus Christ. And if you do not know Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, um, all you have to do is, is call his name. He's as close to you as his name. Just call his name. He will answer you. He will answer you. So we're going to close out with a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord lift up his face towards you and give you his peace. peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will see you back here next week for another episode. Remember, wear your mask, wash your hands, six feet distance until the Lord get rid of this covid epidemic be safe be wise and be here next saturday night amen amen, amen. okay so on behalf of myself and the team we want to wish you all a very blessed evening a blessed sunday and a blessed week you know, anybody wants to say anything personally to the to the viewers before we before we leave Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year. Yeah, you was in you you was um missing in action last week when we said oh happy <laughs> new year, ma'am. Uh -huh. <laughs> but now they heard mine. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But welcome back, Bev. We truly, truly miss you. And I know you yeah. I know your viewers missed you missed you as well. So ladies and gentlemen, we'll come back next week and we will continue part two of this discussion on um, what God has done and shown us 20, 2020 and 2021 and what avenue and what mode he used to reveal the things to us that was hidden, we didn't want to deal with, so on and so on. 
So we love you all. We bless you all. Have a wonderful evening. Okay? All right. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.